Hello guys. Today I wanted to talk to you briefly about white balancing. Now there's a few ways you can do white balance. Um, your camera probably does a pretty good job right out of the box. Um, on automatic settings it tries to figure out roughly what the right uh, light temperature is and it applies the correct white balance, more or less. You can get more specific by using one of the um, special settings or custom settings. Um, but really the best way to get the, your white balance absolutely spot on is to do it in post-processing. If you're shooting in RAW, you keep all the information anyway, so you don't lose any more data by um, applying a white balance setting. Now, the easiest way to get the perfect white balance is to make sure that you have a reference point in your photo. If you're taking a set of photos of a model, for example, and you know that the top she's wearing is perfectly neutral, neutral grey, uh, then you can use that as the basis. So, you take the sample and you apply that as the white balance, to your photo and you end up with a whole set of perfectly white balanced photos. Now if you're not that lucky that they're, they're, that they're wearing a perfectly neutral top, which, you know, perfectly neutral, depending on how um, anal or retentive we're getting, is actually kind of a specialized term. It needs to be 100% perfect. Now the best way to do that is to use a white, uh, sorry, a grey card. This one is my grey card. So what this does is it's been specially printed to be perfect, perfect grey. Now, if I take this card and put it in a, uh, in a photograph, take a photo of it, I know that this is my neutral grey. So what I can do is I put it in front of, say, a flower I'm photographing, take the photo and put it away. I can now continue taking photos as usual because I know that with the settings I'm currently taking photos with and the light that's currently shining on this particular flower, um, I have a reference point. I can take the reference points from one photo and copy them across to all the other photos I've taken. This means that um, by using the uh, grey card every time I have a new um, lighting situation or every time I change the, the lighting around, I will end up with perfectly neutral photos. If you look behind me, for example, there's two very distinct um, colours of white balance. I've turned on this lamp here, which is really warm. It's actually warm, but it also has a warmer um, light, light temperature. You can see that this is more yellow. If I move my hand over here, this is just the sunlight coming through the windows. It's a lot um, colder. So if you use my grey card, you can see that here it is one colour, and here it is another. Now if you, for example, are taking photos here of something, uh, say a hand, and you want this hand to be perfectly neutral, you would need uh, to use a grey card or another reference point. Take a photo like this, take a photo of my hand, and now you can use the first photo to get a perfect white balance on the second photo using the light only from that uh, lamp there. Now if I were to move my hand over here, I could do the same thing again. Use the card, take a photo, take a photo of my hand. I can then in post-processing apply the white balance across and I know that comes out perfect. Now these um, white balance cards can be bought um, on all sorts of places, uh, eBay, uh, Amazon, etc. And it should cost about $10 or so for a set. Um, so yeah, give it a go and see if your photos don't turn out that little bit more uh, balanced, I guess.